Hello everybody, welcome to Med Talks. I am Dhriti Bhatt, uh, working for Thought Leadership Vertical in Bebo. Uh, you all must have uh, heard about the heat waves that are going on. It's trending on news right now. And today I'll be your anchor to ask your concerns, our concerns to Dr. Anju about this. Uh, Dr. Anju Balakrishnan is an Ayurvedic consultant. She has done her BAMS and, M and MD in Ayurveda. Uh, Dr. Anju Balakrishnan, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. So Dr. Anju, uh, are these climatic and weather changes going to affect our health? Yes, as uh, the NDTV has mentioned, like coming three months, that is till May half, there will be chances of heat waves. And hence, there is severe climatic changes. There will be emergence of new, new diseases. Uh, Dr. Anju, why is this climatic change affecting our health like this? Yes, as I told earlier, this varying climatic changes will surely bring like health conditions in each and every individual. According to Ayurveda, like one year, it is divided into two ayanas. Like it is divided according to the movement of the sun, just like Dakshinayana and Uttarayana. What we call in Dakshinayana, it constitutes three climates that is Varsha, Sharat and Hemanda. So in this Ridhu, what happens is moon will be very prominent. So gradually the person will attain strength. And the coming three months, as NDTV mentioned, it is Uttarayana Kala. Uttarayana Kala means sun is very prominent. Sun and wind, both sun and wind are very prominent. And gradually the strength of the person will be diminishing. And even the digestive power, what we call as Agni, that will also be diminishing. So the immunity power of the individual will be comparatively less. So the individual will be prone to more and more diseases. This was something interesting. Uh, Dr. Anju, can you tell us about what are the common health conditions that we could see during this time? The common health problems are the first one is dehydration. Since there is excess of heat, all our moisture and water content from the body will be dries up. So the most common symptom seen at this time is dehydration. Then the second one is sunburn. If the one person is getting exposed to sunlight for a long time, then chances for sunburn are there. And there is chances for fungal infections. Since the person sweats more and if he doesn't maintain proper hygiene, then chances of fungal infections are there. And all sorts of skin allergies. And we can also see lot of cases of chicken pox, measles, etc. will also be seen. Also, chances for food poisoning is very high because since it is very hot, the food will get rotten very easily. So, the food poisoning is very common during this time. Uh, so, there are a lot of problems that we might have ignored like in day-to-day -day lives, right? Who are the people who are at risk for these conditions? So, usually the older people above the age of 70 and the kids, like smaller kids are very prone, like they are in high risk. And the people who are having like chronic or any other long-term diseases, just like heart, lungs or kidney diseases, they are also very prone. And even the patient is having like uncontrollable BP. So these people should take care while they are going out. So in the conditions of Parkinsonism, that, that is involuntary movement of our limbs, in such people also like condition may worsen. And the people having mental disorders or mental illness, so these people also find difficult during this period. Uh, so we have a lot of things that we have to take care about, right? So Dr. Anju, please tell us how we can prevent all these conditions. Since the temperature is very hot and dry, it dries up the one's body. So one has to take excess of fluid diet. That is one can go for normal drinking water or coconut water or buttermilk. So this water keeps the body cool. And according to Ayurveda, it is mentioned that during this climatic conditions, like one has to go for Shita and Snigdha Gunayukta Aharas. That means which is having cold and unctuous property. Because during this climate, once in body, the Vada Dosha that will get aggravated and the Kapha Dosha that will be depleted. So if we take like Shita and Snigdha Gunayukta Aharas, it will normalize both this morbid Vada and Kapha. These were some simple things that we can do in our day to day lives. Uh, to prevent the conditions that are caused by heat waves. But there are things that we could go wrong as well. So 
can you please tell us about what all to avoid to you know avoid these conditions so in this condition one should avoid more of spicy oily or which is have the foodstuffs which are so salty because as i told in this condition there will be aggravation of vada and depletion of kapha so if we take the above like with spicy foods it will further aggravate vada and deplete kapha so we have to avoid such things one can also avoid tea coffee like hot beverages and also the carbonated drinks soft drinks fried foods so this will further increase us or further worsen the conditions and the vegetables like like onion garlic this will further increases the heat that is produced so we can reduce the usage of these products and exposure to the sunlight because one should be protected enough can use umbrella and one should reduce exposure to sunlight and also minimize the exercises as i told comparatively our strength will be low then doing heavy exercises will further worsen the conditions so good hygiene has to be practiced since the sweating person will sweat more during this time and fungal infections are very common then good hygiene has to be maintained uh, that was very insightful dr anju thank you so much for uh, coming to the podcast and clearing all our doubts uh, so i hope all the listeners will be able to manage through uh, this situation in a better way possible by making these small changes in our lifestyle to watch more such interesting content uh, please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video